the Proteus uh, line of products uh, from Tabor Electronics consisting a series of monolithic instruments incorporating up to 12 channels and also PXA modules incorporating up to four channels of generation and two channels of acquisition. Those PXA modules can be integrated into any PXA uh, standard chassis along with other instruments or devices from different suppliers. The basic characteristics of the Tabor family of products uh, are listed here. Basically, it can uh, reach up to 9 gigaamperes per second as a generator, and a bitter buffer generator, and up to 5.4 gigaamperes per second as a, as a digitizer. In both cases, we have a uh, larger than 8 gigahertz bandwidth for both generation and acquisition. Uh, the number of channels can be huge, up to 12 channels in a single monolithic device, as I said before. But in a PXI system, you can uh, incorporate up to 40 four zero channels per chassis, per 19 inches PXI chassis. It has a very large uh, uh, memory, up to 16 gigasamples of memory. And, and uh, associated to this memory that can be segmented, you have an extremely powerful uh, sequencing capability in the device. Finally, it has a very uh, advanced uh, triggering system with the lowest uh, available trigger jitter in the market, which is especially important for radar applications. This is the plot diagram for the instrument. As you can see, there is an input section with up to two channels at 5.4 gigahertz, dumping rate, and or channels of generation up to 9 gigaamperes per second. If you set it to that, you have a very large memory, 15 gigaamperes, and an FPGA that can be used also for the implementation of custom applications, such as uh, uh, signal processing change for both signal generation and acquisition, or real-time, very fast closed-loop control, such as the ones that could be required for echo emulation in a radar system. Okay, today we're going to use uh, one of the modules, the IWT modules that you can see in the right. The IWT modules incorporate both generation and acquisition channels. In the uh, left, you can see the IWG only product, which incorporates only generators, generator channels. Okay, so we have one of those each here in this PXI chassis. But we are going to the, uh, use the AWT module that you can see here. As you can see, we have models for capable of generating at 1.25, 2.5 gigaamperes per second, and 9 gigaamperes per second, which is especially uh, well uh, designed for uh, microwave uh, signal generation and acquisition. We are focused uh, quite a lot in the RF and microwave market. It's important to uh, be able to produce and acquire those signals in the right way. And we incorporate both digital and converters for the signal uh, generator and digital down converters for the uh, acquisition uh, in digitization. Here you can see the plot diagram for the uh, up converter in the in the generation uh, section, you have one of these uh, in each one of the channels, which can be controlled independently. As you can see, we have uh, the capability of storing IQ samples in the wafer memory at a much lower sampling rate. We can then upsample those uh, uh, signals by using uh, an interpolator. And then uh, the output of those two interpolators, I and Q, is uh, supplied to an IQ modulator, a numerical IQ modulator, so you can produce a uh, complex modulated um, carrier, uh, and then you can control the carrier frequency used by uh, by uh, controlling the DDS oscillators, the numerical control oscillators that you see in this broad diagram. So you can change from one frequency to another without having to download a new waveform. It can be done on the fly. For the same thing we have for the for the uh, digital section. In that section, we can use two steps uh, uh, down conversion. 
in the first step, we produce a, a down converted image at the first Nyquist band of the digitizer by using under sampling. And then, uh, as you can see here, you can go from the fourth uh, Nyquist band to the first Nyquist band by selecting the right uh, sampling rate. And then, uh, once we have reached the, the Nyquist band in the first Nyquist band, you can apply a second stage of uh, down conversion based in a digital down converter that produces directly INQ samples, the cemented INQ samples. So, uh, sampling rate of the output is also much slower than the acquisition sampling rate. So, reducing the, num the amount of information and, uh, to be processed by the uh, post processing system. Okay, good. So, today we are going to emulate this kind of situation where you are uh, sending. From, uh, transmitting some radar signal, and then you are acquiring the echo, and uh, you process the echo accordingly uh, in order to extract the information about the target. Okay, in this case, we are, we are showing a multiple antenna uh, system with multiple independent generators that can be adjust in delay and phase. You can produce at the same time multiple beams and multiple signals tracking different targets at the same time. In order to have a, a, a simple uh, to follow demo. We are going to use only one channel, one transmitter channel, and one receiver channel in this demo. As I said before, uh, the goal of this architecture is to provide users with a very good signal uh, uh, generation capabilities, including a red quality of the signals. At the same time, the same thing for the acquisition side, but uh, doing that providing a large number of channels, like here, where we have up to 40 channels of signal generation, up to 20 uh, channels of signal acquisition in a single chassis, in a single 19-inch chassis, which is an amazing number of channels. And at the same time, we provide complete timing and carrier phase control. So we make sure that you have coherent, pulse-to-pulse uh, -pulse coherent carriers, and you can control the relative phase of all the signals being generated at a given moment in time. Because it's an AWG, you can also generate multiple frequencies. At the same time, you can also create uh, all kinds of complex uh, situations like frequency hopping radars, or radars signals where the intermodulation pulse change from one pulse to the next. There is no limitation at all.